Hi, me again. I think it's time for another episode of your TV license questions answered. And first of all today, I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you out there. I got a notification while watching YouTube in bed the other night that I'd got 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Now, I only set this channel up with one video initially just to help people see my experience of cancelling the TV license and how easy it was. And I just wanted other people to see how easy it was. And now I've got 10,000 subscribers and we're pushing 2 million views on all of the videos as well, which is amazing. Now, every day I get comments and messages from people about how they managed to cancel their TV license thanks to the information that I've given them. I get flooded with comments and it's wonderful. And that's why I do this. And that's why I launched the website tvlicensestop.co.uk, which also gets thousands of views a week and helps a lot of people cancel the TV license. So between us all here, because every time I go on, a, on Twitter or Facebook and that, I see that people have shared the videos. So between us all, we've really helped a lot of people save a lot of money and a big gut punch to the BBC as well, which is wonderful. So thank you for all your comments, all your likes, the subscribers as well, thank you so much. And um, yeah, actually thinking of comments, I wanna just talk about uh, something I've seen down in the comments. There's a user called Penelope Oates. Penelope Oates, yeah. And uh, claiming to be a TV license inspector and commenting on loads of your comments and things and trying to scare some people and um, I just, I didn't like it. So I wouldn't normally do it, but I blocked them from the channel. But do me a favor, if you, it's easy to get another username, isn't it? So they can still keep commenting. If you see anything like that, do let me know because I won't have people being harassed down in the comments. People slagging me off, fair dues. I'm the one in the video, slag me off all you need to do. And a lot of you do do that quite a lot. But it's all right, I like it, it gives me something to read. But I won't have the users of my channel being abused or being threatened or being scared by someone claiming to be a TV license inspector. So if you see anything like that, let me know and I'll, um, I'll move on to trying to block them as well. Thank you. But yeah, big thank you to everyone subscribed and nearly 2 million views on the videos. That's crazy. I feel like PewDiePie all of a sudden. Right, let's, uh, let's move on with your questions. Can you please advise if you need to provide your name, email and telephone number when filling in a form to cancel the TV license? Now, I've talked about this in a couple of other videos. Um, if you've had a license at that address, they already have your details. So filling the form in in your own name doesn't mean anything. They already know who lives at the address. If you just move to the address or you really don't want to give them your name, you don't have to fill in the form. You know, you can do it if you want to, or you can just ignore it. I personally say do it, but if you don't want to put your own name and address in, just fill it in as the occupier with the address. You can get a temporary email address for free, just Google it, you'll see plenty of them, and do that. But no, you don't have to, but if you've already had a license in that address, there's no reason not to. I nearly bought a Now TV box, but it says you need a broadband connection. Yeah, you will need a broadband connection to use a Now TV box. Now, in one of my other videos called uh, How to Watch TV Without a License, I talk about this, and all the streaming services that you're gonna use by not having a TV license do require a half decent broadband connection. So if you haven't got that, you're gonna struggle to stream TV and watch it properly without a license. Sorry. We don't watch the BBC, but we have the free Sky channels, so I don't think we're exempt. You need a TV license to watch or record any broadcast channel as it's being broadcast. So you can't watch the free Sky channels without a license as long as you just knock off the BBC. It doesn't work like that. Um, most of the channels have free catch-up services that allow you to watch what you want whenever you want to watch it. So maybe try that. But um, yeah, if you're watching stuff as it's being broadcast, even if you're not watching the BBC, sorry, you, you do need a license for that. Do you think I can cancel my Sky contract if I cancel my TV license, as I don't want Sky broadcasting live if I don't have a license? Thanks in advance. Oh yeah, if you're cancelling your TV license, you're gonna cancel your Sky, aren't you? It makes sense. But um, if you're still in contract with Sky, if you've got a few months left on your contract or however long, then you can't cancel your Sky. You can phone them up and sometimes They'll let you out of your contract early if you pay what you owe and they'll give you a little discount. But my advice for this would be just stick with it. Just stick with your Sky contract until it expires. Keep your TV license. It hurts to say it. 
until your Sky expires. Then when it does, cancel them both and get Now TV and enjoy watching TV that way and license free. Think you should cover more about using Amazon Stick but also Google Chrome for those without a smart TV. Have the Netflix, Amazon Prime, 4OD, etc. on your phone and casting it. Much better than using the app on the TV. Now I screenshotted this comment quite a while ago and since I screenshotted it I have done a video called How to Watch TV Without a License. I'll put a link above for you. And that covers using all the gear that is nice and easy to watch TV without a license. So using your phone, using the Chromecast, using you know now TV boxes and all sorts. So take a look at that video and that'll explain the easiest ways to watch TV without a license, even if you don't have a smart telly. Corey is on ITV, license paid to BBC, so why can I not watch Corey as an example, obviously? Yep, I agree. It is ridiculous that you can't watch any channels thanks to the BBC having a license fee. Absolutely crazy, but all isn't lost. So switch to on-demand TV. By switching to on-demand, the only thing you're going to lose out on is live TV, which is a dead duck anyway, and BBC stuff, or a fair chunk of BBC stuff. So if you like ITV, you can get on ITV player, it's free to use, and you can still watch your Coronation Street. And it's on there pretty much straight after it's been on the telly, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna miss out or be behind everybody. So you can still watch 90% of the stuff you'd watch anyway. So don't worry, the only things you can't watch, live TV or BBC iPlayer. The BBC stuff you'll get on Netflix and on other on-demand services that aren't iPlayer. So you're not gonna miss much at all, so don't worry. You're still gonna be able to watch a ton of stuff if you don't have a TV license. But I agree, it is ridiculous that you can't watch any other channels. It's a joke, isn't it? I've just been on the TV licensing website as I was canceling my license, but it says if you watch YouTube, Netflix, or Prime, you still need a license. They've put this on there recently to try and scare some people off because of the flood of people canceling the TV licenses. And in a way, they're right, and in another way, they're wrong. So you can watch YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all of that perfectly legitimately without a TV license. But on a couple of those, like uh, Amazon Prime for instance, had some live sport. And to watch live sport on Amazon Prime, you would need a TV license. But to watch all the shows and movies, you don't need a TV license. The same with YouTube. You know, if I do my videos on here and you can watch them without a TV license, but You'll also find like Sky News streams 24 hours a day live to watch that. You would need a TV license. So it's ridiculous and they're trying to confuse people and it is working. A lot of people are confused and scared by it and are not cancelling their TV licenses because of it. All you've got to remember is don't watch anything live and you'll be fine. There are exceptions to that that we'll come to later on. But stick away from live stuff and you don't need a TV license. I have a Roku stick and watch the commercial catch-up channel UK TV programmes, Dave, yesterday, etc. I understand UK TV is a BBC service. Can I watch it without a licence? Now, I screenshotted this one before I made another video as well. So I'll put a link above called How Does the BBC Get Away With This? If you didn't know, the BBC own 100% of UK TV. So Dave, yesterday, all of that. And the commercial. Crazy, right? But yet, yeah, you can watch these on-demand services without a TV license, because they're commercial. The only things you can't watch without a TV license, live TV, BBC iPlayer. But I watch Dave On Demand all the time and a bit of yesterday here and there, and it's perfectly legit to do that. But good comment, thank you. What a great opportunity for Netflix and Amazon Prime to gain even more popularity by offering free membership to the over 75s. Still better value than the BBC anyway, thanks for a fantastic video. Do you know what? That's a bloody brilliant idea. And I'm surprised they didn't do that. With all the scandal about the over 75s missing out on the TV license, I'm massively surprised Netflix didn't give away a load of promotional membership and get themselves in the paper doing a good thing. So, yeah, fair, fair comment. That. I didn't think of that either. That's a bloody good idea. And it's a shame they didn't do it. But, you know, nice comment. Thank you. I'm totally confused about licensing law after doing some research on the Gov website, which and money saving expert. Now, I'll skip ahead a bit and she basically say, am I breaking the law by watching the artist tutorial live? Also, do we know what the legal definition of a TV programme actually is in relation to the licence? And does the information stating watching live TV and in general apply to this situation? So as I understand it, Andrew, you've joined an art class and uh, it, the tutor broadcasts as a class once a week 
via YouTube on a live stream and you want to know if you can watch that when you're not supposed to be able to watch any live stuff. It's a good question and it is a grey area and a lot of people are getting confused by it. But how it stands and the way I understand it is you can't watch anything live that's from a broadcast channel. So on YouTube here you'll find, as I said earlier, Sky News being broadcast live. You can't watch that. But if I do a live stream, because I'm not a broadcast network, you can watch me live all you want. So like Twitch and YouTube live streams, all good to go. So you're not breaking the law by watching your art tutorial live. But this is such a grey area and such ridiculousness. You know, it, these rules were drawn up before the internet got really cool. And it's just old fashioned. And I think they like it that way because the more confusion, the more scaredy people, the more licenses they're going to sell. So yeah, but don't worry, you can watch that and you're not gonna you're not gonna break any laws or rules or whatever, you're gonna be fine, don't worry. You advertise now TV and make money. Tell me about YouTube, etc. Yeah, I get this a lot. People think that um I do this YouTube channel for the money. They think I'm raking it in. Yeah, I wish I was. Okay, so uh I do talk a lot about now TV in my videos because I think it's one of the best weapons that we have in the fight against the TV license. So normal people like your mum, your dad, your aunt, your brother, your sister, who love their TV and would never think of cancelling the TV license. Now TV is something they can use that they recognise, got all the Sky channels and all the shows they like in an easy way to watch it without a TV license. It's fantastic and that's why I talk about it so much. Personally, I don't use it a lot anymore, but it is an excellent weapon in the fight to get the TV license abolished. And yes, fair dues. In the links below my videos and on my website, I have links where you can buy Now TV boxes and the voucher codes and things like that. And I do sell those, yeah, I admit, I do sell those. And I get a commission every time someone orders one. Okay, now I do make a bit of ad revenue on YouTube and I also make a little bit on uh, Amazon. So let's have a look. This month, for instance, September 2020, on Amazon, I have made seven pounds 26 pence. And I haven't made much more than that on YouTube, to be honest, because not many advertisers want to show their videos with my ugly mug talking nonsense over them. But I do make a bit of money. Now, all that money I make now goes into keeping tvlicensestop.co.uk up and running. It paid to have it developed, it pays to get it hosted. I mean, that's seven pounds 26 I've made this month. Doesn't cover the hosting fee for that website. So I am making a bit of a loss. The only time I've ever treated myself out of the money that I make from YouTube and from the Amazon stuff is for this microphone because some people were complaining about the sound quality in my videos. So I spent 25 quid from the ad revenue and I got myself a nice fancy microphone. But yeah, I'm not in this for the money and many people think I am. They go on about, oh, you're just doing it for the views and for the money. One, I don't get that many views. Two, I don't make that much money. You couldn't live off it. You could barely buy a McDonald's every day off of it. So it's not the reason. The reason I do this channel, as I said at the beginning, is because I want to help people. It's the only reason. I just want to help people save a little money. No one's got enough money. And if you can save a little bit from your monthly outgoings, brilliant. So that's why I do these videos. So yeah, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing it for the views. And you lot are really brilliant at helping me get to nearly 2 million views and 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, and hopefully I can make another one of these in about 10 years when I hit 100,000 subscribers. It won't happen, it's not gonna happen, is it? But yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in another video again soon. Ta-da.